An innocent family was caught up in what police are calling a twisted murder plot after a workplace affair was exposed. According to police documents, the plan went into motion after Nathaniel's fiancé found out he was cheating on her. One evening while sitting in the living room, Nathaniel's fiancé held up his cell phone and said, Who is this girl? Nathaniel trying to brush it off said, It's just a co-worker, bae. Ain't nothing serious. Not serious. I'm looking at y'all text messages. What you think, I'ma just let this slide? Feeling a mixture of anger and betrayal, she decided to take matters into her own hands. If I could make him think his life is in danger by messing around with her, I could get him to come back to me and be faithful. Using fake social media accounts, she convinced Nathaniel that by cheating with his co-worker, he had became part of a Mexican criminal organization. She sent him a message that read, Yo, we watching you. It's time to prove your loyalty. Nathaniel texts back, Who are you? Don't worry about that. Just know you got somebody around you that can't be trusted. You better be careful. Nathaniel then asks, What you want me to do? On September 14th, just two days before the murders took place, his fiance sent him another message, still pretending to be part of the Mexican organization. She texts, it's time to start planning. Let's go check out the neighborhood. Let's find out where the camera's at. Ask your fiance to help you. As they looked up the house where the other woman lived, he said to his fiance, ain't no cameras behind her place. Perfect. Let's make this thing look like a robbery. On September 16th, around 3.17 in the morning, she drove Nathaniel to the woman's house and said, I'm going to chill in the car. You know what you got to do. The family of four was shot dead with a 9mm pistol. A total of 20 shots were fired. They were all discovered the next day. By September 20th, Nathaniel and his fiance were both considered suspects, but had already fled to Oklahoma. After a trip to Walmart, they were confronted by police officers while walking to their car. Stop! You're under arrest, an officer shouted, which led to a chaotic car chase. In the midst of it all, Nathaniel managed to shoot and kill his fiance before crashing the car, killing himself. 